So Starfield is now out on Xbox Game Pass day one, and if you're watching this video, you want to install the DLSS mod. Sweet, I've got you covered. The installation process is a little bit different to the Steam version, so I'll keep this video to a cut down version, just showing you how to actually get this set up. As for performance and quality, it's pretty much the same as the Steam version, so you'll find that linked in the description down below. This is purely the install. So with Starfield installed on our Xbox Game Pass, what we need to do is navigate across to the drive that we installed this on and open up the game folder. So for me, this is on C drive, followed by Xbox games, which is the default install location on whatever drive you put it on, then Starfield and inside of here, content. Now we're in the games folder, which is pretty much the same function wise as per the Steam version. Now that we're in the correct folder, what we need to do is download the mods and install them. First of all, we'll be downloading the Starfield upscaler, which you'll find linked down below. You'll be taken across to a page that looks like this. Starfield Upscaler. Scrolling down, you should already be on the Files tab. We'll scroll down further and pick one of these two versions here to use. We'll either use the Reshade version or the standalone version that doesn't allow us to customize it in game, but does allow us to have overlays such as Steam, etc. You can download either one of these. If you're going to be reshading and using custom packs for different colors and things, you can download the Reshade version at the very top, which I'll be doing here. So I'll click Manual Download. Then you'll be required to log in if you haven't already in order to click slow download here. Once you've done so, wait a few seconds and the download will begin. After it's done, we can open up the zip file and we'll have these files here. What we need to do is simply drag them out and into the content folder that we opened earlier, just like that. Now that we've done this, we've successfully installed the first part of this mod. What we need next is the Upscaler Base plugin. Heading to the next link in the description down below, you'll find this Upscaler Base plugin. Once again, scroll down, choose the Files tab, and right down here, we'll be clicking Manual Download once more. Then slow download, wait for it to start, and when it's done downloading, open it. Then we'll have this file here, Upscaler Base plugin with PDPerf plugin DLL inside of it. What we'll do is make sure we take the entire folder folder here and drag it into our mods folder here. So if I open up the Starfield content mods folder, you'll see upscaler base plugin and inside of it pdperf here. Cool. We can close the zip file and now we need to download DLSS in order to actually use it. So in the description down below, once more, you'll find a link to Tech Power Up. Here we can download the actual NVIDIA DLSS DL file. You can download pretty much any version, 3.5 or if you want to use the version 2 of it, say 2.5.1, you can find it simply by hitting Ctrl F and searching for it. It doesn't really matter which version you use, just do keep in mind that version 3, which is supposed to come with frame generation technology, Technology doesn't actually let you generate frames. This is purely the upscaler that's much higher quality than AMD FSR 2. So I'll download the latest DLL version here and choose any server to download it from, then open the zip once it's done downloading. Now what we need to do is move this file into the same folder as pdperf. So Starfield Content Mods Upscaler Base Plugin and we'll put it in here. Sweet. Now we're pretty much done with the installation. All we need to do now is fire up Starfield in our Xbox Game Pass. As you can already see, we've got the reshade text at the very top. So the reshade plugin is loaded and we can use the end key in order to bring up the Starfield Upscaler just like this. If for you it's not working, we can customize the key that calls this up by simply closing the game, navigating to Starfield Content Mods and changing the upscaler INI file here with any text editor. Inside of it, we'll find a link to a page to translate these key numbers to keys on our keyboard, so we can type in whatever number we want here that translates to a key, and we'll be able to use that in game. Currently, we can use keypad divide in order to toggle DLSS and end in order to show the DLSS GUI in game. So there's that. For now, I'll head into the actual game itself. And there we go, we're now in game and things should already look better. Assuming you have most of the settings optimized already, it should be using DLSS. In order to make sure, hit pause, then head across to settings, followed by display. And what we'll do is make sure that the render resolution scale is set to something lower than 100% and the upscale is set to FSR2. Even though it says FSR2, it's actually using the NVIDIA DLSS DLL instead, so we're getting DLSS quality instead of FSR here. Sweet. Just like that, it's working, assuming that if you press end, it does say enable at the very top there. So if I pause it, click end, and turn off DLSS, you may notice a difference in game. Personally, I don't really. I think this is because you
games, you may be not able to toggle it on the Xbox Game Pass version, but instead, I'll remove the file entirely and see what kind of difference we have. Just for comparison, this is DLSS version 3 in Starfield 2K, everything pretty much high on a 3080 Ti, and this is the quality. Note that your frames won't really change, it's mostly the quality that we'll be getting out of the game, meaning we can crank settings lower and get better FPS technically because we've lowered the settings while keeping things still looking great. So DLSS, I'll close the game and remove all of the files that we added here. So pretty much all of these files here, I'll move them out to completely disable this plugin and fire up the game once more. So now we're most definitely using FSR2 and heading back to the same location, you can notice the quality just isn't all there as it is with DLSS. As for FPS, it's pretty much exactly the same as it mainly affects quality rather than our actual FPS. Once again, you'll find a more in-depth guide for installing on the Steam version, as well as a detailed comparison between the two. Thank you for watching, my name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.